y'all BFFs and hello Zodiac BFFs, it's me Godiva, Empress. Happy 2024! We made it to another year and I hope that the start of your year is going amazing. If not, you still got time to make it up. This video is coming straight off the press. Well, not so much straight off the press because she requested this video June of 2023. Big shout out to, wait, let me see what her name is. Hold on, let me make sure I get your name right because girl, I said. To Sarah Davis, thank you for the video topic. Let's get into it. How do Virgos deal with conflict, issues, problems, and emotions in a relationship? Now, isn't that a good question? I thought so too. First thing first, it depends on the situation, the severity of the situation. It depends on how big of a fallout, how big of an issue this is for the Virgo man or Virgo woman. The more serious it is, the bigger the issue is. This is when the Virgo is going to require more space. Do you know why? Virgos are actually considerate. We don't want to say anything that may end our whole relationship with you. We don't want to say anything that really gets you to hate us for the rest of our lives. Well, whoever lives longer. We don't want you to hate us that long, even though we don't care for certain people. But for the people that we value and love, we do not want to say the wrong things or act out the wrong way. Because I told you we have the capability. So if it's a huge problem, issue, or conflict, allow the Virgo to have space. Now what you have to understand is Virgo men and Virgo women tend to be good communicators. If you want to talk about it, you can. But Timing is everything when you're dealing with a Virgo, man or woman, when you're trying to resolve conflict, a problem or issue. We are not the type to smack, crack or pop in the moment because our pop is gonna be a little too far. So when dealing with a Virgo in very intense situations, if they request space, please give them space because that could be the last time that you talk to them or the relationship, honestly, no cap, could be over. On the flip side, don't give Virgos too much space. Okay, because if you give Virgos too much space to think and overthink and analyze, we will Casper the friendly ghost your ass like it's nothing. Hold on on the too much space. You don't, want, you don't want to do that. Not too much. If you want to get specific, here it is. If y'all are having problems, issues, or conflict, and you want a resolution and create peace, give them space, but give them a time frame of like, can we revisit this in another couple of hours? And again, depending on the situation, hours may not be enough. But Virgo, Virgo, I had to learn this. I need to do it within 24 hours because after 24 hours, there's some type of unhealthy, nonchalantness Virgo that we can possess. So bring it on in. Bring it on in. Let's try to get some resolution within those 24 hours, okay? All right, <clears throat> all right. And the reason why I say don't let them go over 24 hours because a Virgo man and a Virgo woman simmering in a pot of anger, bad emotions in a relationship, it's not good. That pot will continue to boil and boil until it just overflows. Well. Then we got first through third degree burns on somebody. Don't let us simmer and get the boiling. So 24 hours or less, it needs to be talked about addressed. If you value that person, Virgo, okay? If it's somebody that we don't care, we never see them again, who cares? But Sarah asked about relationships. So let's say now you have given your Virgo man and Virgo woman time to think. It's been less than 24 hours. So now they're ready to talk, okay? They're ready to resolve the issue, the conflict, and the problem. Or at least get clarity. <laughs> Here's the part <laughs> where things get a little tricky. With Virgos, we're communicators. However, comprehension trumps communication. If we've taken our time to think about it and analyze, and all of these things, we're going to need this this conversation that we have to resolve this to make a lot of sense. Because if not, um, we're being counteractive. And that is not good for a Virgo, okay? We get very annoyed. Did I, did I tell y'all this? We get annoyed at any and everything. And if you're counteractive, we're not being productive. <laughs> so, when you have these conversations, 
you need to make sure that you're listening. We like conversations that end with solutions, clarity. You know, some people can kind of half-ass say stuff and you're like, okay, I sort of kind of understand, but I didn't really get everything out of that conversation. A confused Virgo is a dangerous Virgo. But anyway. So honestly, that's how Virgos tend to be in relationships when it comes to resolving problems and conflicts and everything. They need space for the most part. And then once they have their space, they need conversation, detailed conversation to get an understanding and a solution. And one thing about Virgos is after we talk about this, we don't want to repeat it because the whole point is kind of resolve it. So we keep having the same issues. Virgos, like I've said, Virgos are not always the cheaters. Virgos are the leavers. So if we have to mention something a little bit too much to an adult, big huge pile of annoyance there. That's what's gonna be there. We don't understand why people sometimes are so basic. As far as the emotions in the relationship, Sarah, so Virgos are very capable of emotions and loving and showing them. Virgos are not the overly emotional zodiac. That's when it comes to romantical love. We reciprocate it. What is given to us is what we're given. And a lot of people don't understand why Virgos can be petty. Virgos are petty because we're mutable. Unfortunately, we can love you till no end. But if the love isn't felt, on our end, like we loving you, we can become petty and then match you on your level. And I know that's not always the mature thing to do. F maturity, that's how Virgo feels. What you give me is what I'm gonna give back. I mean, that's only fair. And we can adapt. Are we really being petty? I don't even call it petty. That's like, that's our second nature. Like we don't intentionally do it, that's, that's how we are. Anyway, people don't. People not gonna understand that. They're not gonna get that. And that's none of my business. Just proceed with caution, please. And thank you. And that's for Virgos in relationships. And not just romantical relationships, but also like with friendships or coworker relationships, any type of relationship, that's how you kind of deal with them. I will say for single Virgos who are single, if they're having issues, a lot of Virgos will retract. They will alienate themselves for days. Do not worry about them which like I told y'all, most people don't. Because if you can't come up with a solution, Virgo will. Give them time. But in relationships, don't give them as much time as they would like all the time because Virgos can detach in those alone moments. All right, you know who it is, the Diamond Empress. I have another video coming up. I thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I have shorts on the way. I think I did a couple yesterday. I have more coming. Talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.